Good morning. Uh, yesterday in the UK, in Birmingham, a Christian woman was arrested for praying in public outside an abortion centre, which was closed. She apparently was accused uh, by the police of going to a so-called buffer zone around an abortion centre three times, uh, where she was not speaking to anybody, not displaying any signs, but was just simply there. And uh, they accused her of praying, which apparently is against the law uh, outside certain abortion centres in the UK, uh, including this one in Birmingham. Um, the local council has set up what they call a public space protection order. Now, local councils are allowed to do this for anything that they like, and the legislation to do this was implemented in 2014. Uh, you have various other uh, local councils around the UK that have also implemented public space protection orders around abortion centres. And some of the conditions of those is that nobody is allowed to display anything, nobody is allowed to speak to anybody going into or coming out of the centre. Uh, and this uh, has uh, curtailed, um, drastically curtailed the free speech of really, really good people who were helping mothers to have a choice not to go in and uh, end the life of the their children uh, in the centres. And uh, many, many lives have been saved over um, two or three decades of people um, just kindly offering help and support to people going in uh, to those places. But now they've been made illegal or any kind of um, protest or offering of help or displaying signs or even uh, praying, silent prayer, uh, is now uh, illegal in certain places, in certain buffer zones. That's the situation uh, in the UK. So um, this woman, um, so Isabel Vaughan Spence, was uh, arrested and um, searched in a very humiliating way, as the police often do. The process is the punishment, as they say, um, thrown in a cell, interrogated and accused of silent prayer. But obviously they can't prove it because all she was doing was standing around at three separate times on three separate occasions, crucially when the centre was closed, when there was nobody in there. Nobody was going in to do anything. It was in the evening time. The centre was closed. But she was caught on camera. And obviously someone uh, reported this to the police. And then they, they came and arrested her. And uh, put her through this humiliating process. The bail conditions that she got, which you have to agree to. Otherwise they keep you in prison and put you on remand. And they keep you in for you know days and days and days or weeks and weeks before they release you. You have to agree to the bail conditions. It's almost a coercion. You agree to bail conditions or else they, they um, keep you imprisoned. But the condition she had was that she's not allowed to make contact with her Roman Catholic priest. Uh, who's also a pro-life um, activist. And she's not allowed to go to any public prayer, any any occasion where there's public prayer, which would mean she's not allowed to go to church or she's not allowed to go to another Christian event anywhere in, in the country where there may possibly be prayer, which is a total violation of her human rights in any sense of the word, any understanding of human rights. You have the freedom to practice your faith, to practice your religion. So this is a double attack. First, it's attack, an attack on free speech. It's also an attack on Christianity and Christians uh, being able to pray freely in the United Kingdom, in England, in Birmingham which is almost unthinkable, it would have been completely unthinkable um, five or ten years ago for any kind of law to say that a Christian is not allowed to pray in a certain place in a, in a, in a Christian country, just silent prayer where there's no one around.
And it's also an attack on the pro-life movements, if you like, people who uh, think that it's wrong to do what is done to 220,000 children every year in the United Kingdom. Um, I fully support uh, the pro-life movement and uh, I am against further moves which are going through Parliament at the moment to attach a clause to the Public Order Bill which has gone through the Commons and they voted 297 votes to 110 to make this a national blanket law uh, a national law rather than individual local councils implementing <coughs> their own laws uh, and buffer zones they want to make it a national law so that there no one is allowed to do any to 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 pray or to um, protest or to offer help uh, to mothers in any way uh, within 150 metres of any abortion centres uh, in England and Wales. And then Scotland are going to implement, you know, introduce a law in the Scottish Parliament and there's also something going through the Northern Ireland Assembly as well. Um, I think that's already been passed. Uh, so it, it's already uh, a blanket ban on um, uh, any pro-life action outside abortion centres in Northern Ireland. Um, this is an egregious attack on freedom of speech and Christianity in this country and uh, if I was in power this wouldn't be happening. We would get rid of any laws which make it illegal on a national level uh, to curtail uh, people's free speech uh, and offer help to mothers and also remove uh, public space protection orders uh, which set up buffer zones and uh, make sure that they're not used for that purpose um, as well as obviously uh, the Heritage Party has our, our policies on abortion you can look them up in our manifesto section on a culture of life which is essentially to abolish uh, the practice in the UK in Great Britain and Northern Ireland so if you support free speech and if you support um, the right of Christians and Catholics and other groups uh, to give help and offer help to mothers uh, to be able to continue to do that and to stop um, the practice of abortion in the UK, please come and join us in the Heritage Party. Please also give me a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you would. Thank you, everybody. Um, Please write to your MPs and councils about this issue as well, uh, particularly um, this specific case that uh, West Midlands Police uh, have um, started against this Christian woman, Isabel Vaughan Spence, and, uh, and tell them that it is absolutely abhorrent what they've done and uh, they should not be uh, using their police powers to curtail freedom of speech and to violate people's uh, freedom of religion and human rights in the way that they've done. Thanks, everybody. God bless you all.